This video is about sin and anti addition and elimination. Basically, it involves four terms that is sin addition, sin elimination, anti addition and anti elimination. It is a very important topic in studio specific reaction. What is that? Consider a double bond. When I add X and Y, the X and Y can be added in the same direction or it can be added in the opposite direction. In this case, it is symmetrical one and all are hydrogen. So the product, whatever we get, it will be almost same. If it undergoes rotation, you will get this product. But when there is substitution, then you can feel the difference. So this is called sin addition. This is anti addition. Now, say I am getting olefin from this. I remove XY from this and I get olefin. I remove XY from this. I get olefin. Certain reaction will eliminate XY when the X and Y are trans to each other. That is called anti elimination. On the other hand, in some cases, the elimination will take place only when the X and Y are cis to each other. That is called sin elimination. Now, let us go to sin addition. So what are the reactions involved sin addition? The first one, it is hydroboration. When you add BH bond across alkene, the product whatever we get will be like this. For simplicity, I have omitted two more groups here. So here there will be two more groups. Hydrogen and boron will be added in the same direction. The second one, aryl palladium addition to double bond. I go for iodine. So this is the intermediate the Suzuki coupling or Heck coupling. So this when it is added with the double bond what we get is syn addition product AR and palladium they are cis to each other. The next one H2 addition that is reduction of double bond with H2 gives this product. Next one anti addition. There are so many reactions under this category. The first one addition of alkene with bromine or Br plus and some nucleophile. The nucleophile may be OH that is basically water or acid or alkoxide even it may be acetate goes like that. So basically we get a bromonium ion intermediate like this that is opened up by the nucleophile and the product whatever we get will be like this. The bromine and the nucleophile that is OH, N3, OR, O acetate and even nitrile can open this. The product whatever we get will be trans. The second one hydroxymercuration. When I add HgOAC twice to alkene 
the product whatever I get is similar to the earlier one I get uh, intermediate like this now the nucleophile it may be water or acid or war or acetate generally we go for water so the water will open up to give anti addition product that is trans product reduction of alkyne with liquid ammonia and lithium so basically it is reduction the product whatever we get will be like this I have added hydrogen in order to explain that I go for some group here say CH3 I have added hydrogen in trans fashion this hydrogen and this hydrogen they are trans to each other so that is trans addition so it is called anti addition the third one it is syn elimination the first reaction under this category is elimination of organo palladium look at this this palladium and hydrogen they are cis to each other then only the elimination will take place to give double bond this step involves in a reaction palladium and hydrogen should be cis to each other then only the elimination will take place second one to give elimination that is the xanthate ester and hydrogen should be cis to each other in such case this will take the hydrogen and what we get is olefin third one acetate pyrolysis so again a similar one acetate and hydrogen should be cis to each other the fourth one it is scope elimination the n oxide and hydrogen should be cis to each other then only we will get olefin the last one it is anti elimination in this the leaving group and the hydrogen they should be trans to each other then only the reaction will take place basically it is sorry e2 elimination hydrogen and the halogen atom the leaving group they should be in the same plane and they should be trans to each other that is called anti periplanar arrangement generally this kind of questions are asked in substituted cyclohexane derivative for example look at this i have br here and hydrogen for the other one i have hydrogen here and some group like this here say i have some r group now if i treat with strong base the product whatever i get will be like this even though i have hydrogen here this cannot undergo elimination the reason is this br 
and this hydrogen they are cis to each other so there should be trans hydrogen suppose if the compound is like this Is there anti periplanar arrangement? No. It cannot undergo flipping because we have tertiary butyl group here. So there won't be flipping. If it undergoes flipping, then this BR and this BR will be in the same plane and they will be trans. There will be elimination. But for this BR, there is no anti periplanar arrangement so because of that there won't be e2 elimination doesn't mean that there won't be elimination the elimination is possible if it goes through carbocation that is e1 elimination it can follow e1 elimination to give the product at that time there is no need for anti periplanar arrangement remember only e2 elimination requires anti periplanar arrangement e1 and e1 cb do not require that particular arrangement so that is not anti elimination 